Hello, my friends. Happy Friday. Welcome to episode 106 of Why Did I Buy This? This series started as a way to help crafters find unique ways to use products that are in their collections. It's also a great series for new crafters who are wondering what they need to get started. My name is Lindsay. I am the team leader of Cloud9 Stampers. I've been a demonstrator 19 years and I love to craft. So this is a great series to get to share what I am working on in my, in my studio. Today has been a very special day. We had our new holiday catalog released at the beginning of July, and I am going through all of my favorites with you today. Well, not all of them. That would be a day long event. <laughs> I'm going through the highlights anyway. And this afternoon, I'm gonna share with you a special promotion that we have running called Celebration. If you're new here, Celebration is a uh, two month promotion where with every $60 that you order, you will receive a free product. These are exclusive products that are called Celebration Rewards and they include stamp sets, designer series paper and dies. So we're gonna walk through some of my favorite Celebration Rewards. Hi Robin, hi Carrie, hi Jenny. Oh yeah, so the puppy on the wall, that is London. She is my, she's my puppy. Um, and she's currently snuggled into my pillows on my bed. She's got this new thing right now where she loves to nest into the decorative pillows on my bed. And so I always find her like spooning pillows and yeah, she completely messes up my bed. It's really funny. The life of being a pet. Hello, Shauna Domes. Yes, so I had two other episodes today. You can go back onto my page and see the replays if you've missed them. Um, and remember, the best compliment that you can give me is to share this video. So yeah, now is a really good time to hit the share button and then your friends can join in and watch along with you. Um, yeah, so many, so many great products in this new holiday catalog. I am in love. And if you'd like a chance to get to craft with me live, I have a class on Thursday, July 14th from six to nine at the Much Art Conservatory here in Edmonton. And to register, you need to go to learn, no, what is it called? Move, learn, play. I have the flyer on my um, website here on my Facebook page. Um, and there's a course code for it. So just go ahead and Go to the website or call 311 and then use the course code and that will register you for the class. We're doing, <coughs> excuse me, we're doing blends coloring and I'm even including a set of blends for the class with you. Hello, Melinda. Hello, Ona. Nice to see you. Okay, we're going to get started here um, and we're going to be talking about celebration rewards and which ones are my favorite. So if you're Placing an order and you get to that $60 mark and you're like, what should I get? I'm gonna help you with that. Okay, I'm gonna do the awkward transition so you can see my hands and we will get started. So just as a refresher, sorry, I have to clip you in. Just as a refresher, we have some promotions happening in July. So the first one is with a $60 order, you can use the host code and then you're going to receive a celebration reward. And you're also going to get an entry into a draw for six sets of Stampin' Blends of your choice. When you place a $120 order, you're going to get two celebration rewards, two entries into the draw, and you're also going to get the fine sparkle gems. It's one of our new embellishments. An 180 award, three entries, three celebration rewards, and you're also going to get um, the fine sparkle gems. And then once you get to 200, you're going to just skip that host code because then you're going to receive those Stampin' Rewards for free, plus all of the things above. Now I mentioned 375 because this is a sweet spot during celebration. Again, don't put in that host code. When you place an order that's 375, you can even combine orders with friends you will receive six entries into the draw, the gems and six celebration rewards, $45 to shop with for free as a shopping spree, and you're going to receive the perfect pomegranate stamp set. So this is a really cool photorealistic looking set. Here's the details at movelearnplay.edmonton.ca and there's the course code. So you can go ahead and screenshot that if you're interested in registering for the class. And that's Thursday next week. Okay, so like I mentioned, the mini catalog went live on July 1st. There are so many great things that you can shop for in here and lots and lots of different ideas as well. Um, 
I'm going to be playing with these products a lot over the next few months. So keep tuning in on Fridays at noon to be able to see more from this catalog. But what I wanted to talk to you about today is the celebration rewards. So like I mentioned, when you place a $60 Canadian order, you automatically will get to choose a reward for every $60 that you order before shipping and tax. So here's a really cute one called Hippest Hippos. And if you place another $60 order, you would get the dies. Of course, if you place $120, you could choose both of these. So that's the first one that we're going to look at today. I'm going to bring out the stamp set for you to see. So here you can see is the Hippest Hippos. And it is so cute. It's great for coloring. We're going to be using this stamp set at the class that I'm teaching on Thursday. And it does have um, some really cute punny greetings with it as well. I'm going to bring in a piece of basic white cardstock and I'm going to use the little hippo who's wearing the tutu. And I will use Memento ink because this is the preferred ink when you're using Stampin' Blends. So ink that up and we'll stamp our little hippo. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Now I'm going to bring in some blends. So I have a couple of grays. So I've got light and dark gray granite and I have the uh, dark smoky slate. Yes, Courtney, it is watercolor month. That is correct. This would be a nice set for watercoloring too. Okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna start with the light gray granite and I'm just going to go ahead and basically cover the whole hippo. So we're gonna go all the way on her body. We're gonna leave the skirt and do her little legs. So if you watched the earlier videos, I mentioned when you're coloring with Stampin' Blends, it's kind of like water coloring where you have to be patient. There's a, a layering process to it. There's a lot of flexibility with the blends, but I find that if you kind of put down your, um, your first layer with the lightest color, that gives you some wiggle room. So there is our first layer. Next, I'm going to bring in the SU-1000. This is my favorite um, of the Naturals collection. And I'm going to just add this really soft pink to her skirt, just like that. And I'm actually going to, I noticed I just finished. I missed her little undercarriage here. So we'll make sure we catch that too. Okay, just like that. Next, we're going to bring in the dark gray granite and we're gonna start doing a little bit of shadowing. So I'm just kind of going to go below the areas where a shadow would be. So like underneath where her head is, we would add a little bit of gray. And then I'm gonna kind of go in between her nose here and up around her face. It just kind of gives a little bit more um, of that feeling of dimension, just like that. And just add her little ears. And then we're gonna go underneath where her tummy would be, just like that. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring it up so you can see a little better. Next, we're going to bring in our color lifter. And the color lifter is a great tool. It has no pigment to it. But what we're going to do is we're going to actually remove some of the color. So I'm going to go down her stomach like this. And I'm gonna go kind of around her eyes. So we're just lifting some of that color off, kind of down by her leg. This can also help you to blend any of the um, darker shading areas that you've put down. So you can see that the alcohol is starting to work its magic and lift some of the color off, just like that. So next, I'm going to add some cheeks to our hippo's face, like that. And I'm going to bring in my flirty flamingo and I'm just going to add a little bit of shadowing. So I'm kind of using it like the dark and light for our SU-1000 color. 
We're just gonna follow along the band of her skirt there. Down like that. And then we're gonna do her toe slippers. My daughter did ballet for years. It was a compliment to gymnastics. I'm bringing in the dark smoky slate. We're going to paint her toenails that dark color. Just like that. And I'm going to come back to my light color. So this is where you can kind of add a little bit more shading. So we're sort of playing off the shadowing that we did before. And it just kind of helps to blend in those colors. See what I'm doing there? You can even use your small N and do kind of freckles on the cheeks if you like. I'm gonna do the pink inside her ears too. So as you can see, you can really start to layer and play and have some fun to get that dimension and that look of being more realistic. I love just that look of the eyes, like how you can make it look like the eyes are a little bit lighter and how that changes the look of things. Okay, so I'm gonna set aside my markers and we're going to bring in now some of this specialty designer series paper from our mini catalog. I love how it looks kind of holographic and I still haven't looked up the name of this punch, <laughs> but I really, really like this punch. I think it's got a fun shape to it. So we're going to use that as a backdrop for our hippo. And then I've also brought in um, this, this uh, embossing folder. So this one has clouds and you can see when you run it through the stamp and cut and emboss machine, you get these really subtle clouds imprinted as well as these lines. And it makes for a really fun backdrop behind our card. So the beauty of the Hippo set is it does have a coordinating die set. And this is also one of the level one celebration rewards. So you can see here, there is a die that will cut out that hippo perfectly. So we'll run that through the stamp and cut and emboss machine. And then that is going to give you that hippo. And what's so fun about these dies is there's all these embellishing factors. So you can add glasses, a snorkel, little raindrops, you can add flowers. It's really, really cute. Okay, let me skip ahead and show you the finished card. So here you go. So you can see I've done that highlighting. We've blended in the pinks. We've added the greeting from the set, you're always on point, and then added the flowers from the die set. So let me know if you like the card. It's always fun to see that you guys enjoy it. And as a reminder, oh, thanks Carrie, the decorative circle punch, that's what it's called. Um, the best compliment you can give me is to share this video. So go ahead and hit the share button. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next project. So this one is using a couple of celebration rewards. Number one, we're going to pull in the um, note cards and envelopes. So these ones are nice because it comes with the soft seafoam layer and it comes in with a pool party layer. So you can see it's pre-printed and then the envelopes coordinate with both and they have printed detail on the front and the inside. So I'm going to bring in a pool party backdrop. Move these aside. Okay, and we're gonna fold this into our card base. Next, we're going to bring in the designer series paper. It's a specialty designer series paper from the celebration catalog. So let me just show you here. So there it is. It's called the Silver and Gold 6x6 six six Designer Series Paper, and it's one of the level one. And from here, we're going to cut a strip that's half an inch by six inches. And we're going to add it to our card front. So I'm using my stamp and seal to do that. I'm just going to line this up and add that here. We can snip off the excess. And then I'm going to use dimensionals to add this other piece. And we're just going to create a couple of layers with it. 
Hello, friends. Thanks for saying hi. Hi, Anne. Okay, this is going to be added here. We're just going to line it up with the edge just like that. Okay, next we're going to bring in a set from the, um, the annual catalog. And I'm trying to remember what it's called. Here it is, tree rings dies. So this is a hybrid set. Not only does it come with dies to coordinate with the, um, the set, it also has this embossing folder and it's got these, this one big die that fits inside. So it actually puzzles in. You run it through the big boss just like this. And then it gives you this look. So it does all the work at once. So we've got this nice big tree ring. So I'm going to add my adhesive to the back and we're going to add this onto the project just like so. All right, the next thing we're going to bring in, another celebration reward. So this one is a level two reward. So a $120 order will get you that. And it's called Amazing Phrasing. It has some really nice big bold greetings in it, as well as some complimentary scripting, scripty um, greetings. I'm gonna bring in a piece of basic white cardstock. And we're going to use the, um, soft suede and pool party, which will coordinate with what we've got on the project so far. So I am using the word amazing, and we're going to stamp that here. And then with the soft suede, we will do UR. So we're gonna take a sec to just fussy cut this out, and I'm not going to be overly careful because you guys get the point, but you can be as detailed or as loose with your cutting as you want to be. I know people have mixed feelings about fussy cutting, but I really love the way it looks with some of the greetings that we have. That's why I love that set from the mini catalog or the annual catalog where it actually, um, it actually has a die set that cuts it out and that makes life so, so easy. Okay, and we're gonna go all the way around. Okay, just like this. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna to start to assemble it. So from this die set, I used one of the dies and I cut out these leaves and I'm going to use my glue to just add that to the project. So just a few dabs of glue here. Flip this over and we're going to stick that right here. Then we're going to use dimensionals and we're going to pop up the greeting. So we get lots of layering happening on this card, which is lots of fun. So this amazing is gonna go down here. And then we're going to add the UR on top. So just like this, you are amazing. Okay, and now we're gonna pull from the annual catalog. So that's the thing, don't forget about the things that just were released in the annual catalog. We have lots of new things there too. So I'm going to just cut a piece of twine and I'm gonna use my bow tire and add a bow. So on the pegs, you're just going to cross your fingers. The one that's below goes over at the top and the other one goes through at the bottom. You can use a meat fork if you don't have a tool like this. This one is not Stampin' Up! specific, it's handmade. Okay, now I'm gonna use my mini glue dots to pick up that glue, and we're gonna add this to the project right there. Then I'll just use my ribbon scissors to trim off any excess that I don't wanna see. And then finally, you can add some embellishments. So depending on what you have, 
you can pull from your collection. I'm actually just gonna add, let's see what I have. I'm gonna add some from, this is the free ones that you'll be getting this month with a $100 order. Um, of course, I've dipped into mine quite extensively, but I'm just going to add a couple of pool party dots to embellish the project, just like that. So you can see here on this one, one that I made earlier, I used the sequins. So very, very fun. Okay, we're gonna move on to the PYP card. So this one is using the uh, dies that coordinate with a stamp set that's in the mini catalog. So these dies, I think are such a good value. So the dies coordinate with the stamp set called Trees for Sale. It's a $30 stamp set. And there are so many detailed pieces that you can use. So let's build a fun scene. I am going to bring in a background that I cut from these, this new die set from the annual called the Deckled Rectangle Dies. It's kind of fun. It makes it look like a, an old fashioned postcard. I'm also going to bring in Garden Green, which is such a nice color with pool party. Yes, I know, pool party, shocking. And this is the stamp set that I was talking about in the, in the mini catalog. So this one is $30 Canadian. And you can see it's a two-step stamp, lots of greetings, and then some really cute details to be able to add along with those dies that you'll get for free. So we are going to bring in a piece of basic white and I'm just going to start by inking up my tree and stamping it onto scrap paper. So it just makes it a little bit lighter. And we're gonna do the same thing with a, the smaller tree like that. I'll bring in the detailed pieces. We're gonna line it up. And now we get that fun feathery look from our Christmas trees, just like that. And then from this die set, you are going to use the dies to cut that out. So you could use the baby boss or the big boss. So we're gonna put that aside and pretend that we just already did that. So here are our two trees and I'm going to use my dimensionals to add the baby tree and then the, the double-sided tape for the big tree. So we're just gonna layer this on like so. And like that. The next thing I die cut from that collection was this little trailer. So I cut it out in Blushing Bride. And then I also cut out these little um, detail pieces to decorate it. So I'm gonna use my glue and we're gonna add that in place. So just stick that down like that. That is one of the things that's nice about glue is it's forgiving. So if you put it in and you're like, oh, that wasn't quite the right spot, you can always slide it around a little bit for the first few seconds. Now you'll look at this and say, okay, well that's not the right color for a tire. So let's bring in our light basic black. And this cardstock is not the um, preferred paper. So just be mindful that it will bleed a little bit. So I don't even have to really go that close to the edge. It kind of just fills in for me. And I'm going to use my light smoky slate and kind of create that hubcap look. And I'm also going to color the hitch, which I only learned the other day is what it's called because I'm not a camper person. <laughs> okay, so now we will bring back in our little postcard and we are going to be adding this on. Before I do that, I'm going to use my greeting. So it says season's greeting or Christmas greetings. We're going to add that at the top. And I'm going to use the little starburst snowflakes to add some details along the top. Just kind of fills it in and makes it look festive. Like so. Now I can use those dimensionals to pop up my trailer. See, look at this just slid out of place. There we go. Okay, 
Kate. Just like that. Now, uh, earlier I showed you how you can create shiny cardstock using packing tape. So I did that onto the strawberry sweet sorbet, not strawberry, sweet sorbet. So I made a shiny flag to be able to add to the camper. And I also made a shiny little bow to be able to add to the wreath. So we're gonna use our glue to add that on. So just add a couple of little drops of glue. This is where having a take your pick tool is handy because it just helps you to pick things up, keeps your fingers cleaner. So we're gonna stick that onto the door and do the same thing with the flags. I'm just gonna add it to the edges because we want to ensure that we don't get glue inside the window. Okay, so that goes on like so. And then we're going to add the bow. I mean, seriously. All right, earlier I showed you from the sweet Christmas sweet, <laughs> two different sweets, um, that there's these self-adhesive uh, sequins. So we're gonna pull some of those off and decorate our trees. Do a couple over here. Like this. Awesome. And then we will mount it onto our card base. So let me show you the finished card. So I used the stitched um, rectangle, no, what are these called? Whimsy, stitched whimsy dies to be able to add that amazing uh, little detail to it. And you can see it looks just like a vintage postcard. So let me show you a little card that also uses that same um, set of dies. So it has these detailed trees in it. So here I brought in the gnomes and I just added the tree in the background here. And those are the sparkly gems that we talked about earlier. So just another little bonus project. So here you can see are some really great ways to be able to use your celebration rewards. And if you're thinking to yourself, Lindsay, why don't I have these products? Be sure to go to my online store and shop. A reminder that the celebration rewards are only while supplies last. So if you have your heart set on something like the hippos or the trees for sale or the um, note cards, you'll want to make sure that you get your order in as soon as possible so that you're not disappointed if um, the availability is no longer there. Okay, friends, have an amazing weekend. I hope you've enjoyed seeing all of these uh, episodes today. If you missed any, you can go back and watch the replays. And of course, thanks again for sharing these videos. That means the world to me. Thanks for following along. Bye for now.